What's going on people? My name is Antoine, this is ATM Tech and welcome to the channel. So a really excited one for you guys today, the S23 Ultra has finally landed and we're going to be doing some emulation tests on it today. So me being from the UK, I've always been stuck with the Exynos variant of the S series. However, with the S23 series, Samsung has gone for the Snapdragon no matter where you are in the world, which is great news. So under the hood, the S23 Ultra has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But not only that, it's a custom chip compared to what you'll find in other 8 Gen 2 phones. I presume that just means it has higher clock speeds than what you'll find in other devices. So I'm not going to waste much more time. I will be doing a full review of the S23 Ultra, but for now, we're just going to run through these emulation tests. So to kick things off, we're going to have some PS1 emulation playing some Tekken 3. I'm using the Duck Session emulator and admittedly PS1 emulation has been pretty solid for a few years now so I'm not expecting any issues and this is running absolutely perfectly. I was able to bump it up to 4 times resolution and beyond without any real issues. The game ran smoothly at 100% the whole time. Up next we have some Dreamcast emulation using the ReDream emulator from the Play Store. Again, Dreamcast is another one that I'm not expecting any issues with. We've got some Street Fighter Third Strike that plays nicely and we've got some Jet Set Radio. Again, I was able to bump up the resolution to four times and beyond without any significant loss in performance. Now we're going to have a look at some GameCube and Wii emulation using the Dolphin emulator. This is using the standard version you can download from the Play Store. Now Need for Speed Underground was one that the S22 Ultra from last year did struggle with, with that Exynos processor. It used to start off okay and then as you got into the race there would be some dropped frames. Quite a significant amount of dropped frames actually, but pleased to report that this time around Need for Speed is running absolutely perfectly. Well, almost perfectly. Similar story with Mario Sunshine, I'm seeing a significant improvement in performance compared to last year's model. So moving on to the Wii, again through the Dolphin emulator, we've got some Mario Kart Wii and some Super Mario World. Last year's S22 Ultra gave average performance, but I can say this year the performance is a lot better. Now here's one I was really looking forward to testing, we've got some Nintendo 3DS. And historically Exynos and 3DS emulation has not played nicely at all, to the point where most games were unplayable. So I was really looking forward to testing this out with this year's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and do you know what, performance is pretty damn good. Games are actually playable now which is a big step up from what I was used to. I was even able to bump up the native resolution to two times, something that was like unexpected but a nice surprise. Next we have some PSP emulation and this phone absolutely just chewed through these games. God of War, 4 times resolution, no drop frames, 100% speed performance, it was all pretty damn good. There's a point in this Naruto game where there's a lot of enemies on the screen and I'm used to it stuttering, but there was none of that this time around. And last but not least, we have some PS2 emulation using the Ether SX2 emulator and nothing to report whatsoever. Able to play games at three times resolution, at full performance, no drop frames, no nothing. So performance is pretty good and it's a good thing as the developer has decided to step away and won't be updating this emulator anymore. Which is a shame but he's left it in a pretty good place. 
So overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this S23 Ultra. This is the first device I've tested out with the 8 Gen 2 Snapdragon processor, and I am impressed. I will be delving into some PS Vita emulation pretty soon, but that's pretty fresh to market, so I need to do a bit more research into that before I put it on video. And Switch emulation is too early stage and too much of a headache for me to put in a video again as well, unless you guys really want to see it. But anyway, that's enough from me. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.